Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. Today in this video I'm gonna make a review for Tiguan Volkswagen 2023. And if you stay to the end I will show you a multiple features like interior, comfort, technology, and price. But first of all don't forget to like the video and make sure to subscribe and let's do it. The Tiguan is a small crossover with comfort, space and standout styling reminiscent of the larger Volkswagen Atlas and even budget-busting Audis. The interior is also quite nice, especially on the top trim version that has real leather seating, contrast color stitching and a sharp digital instrument panel. A pleasant, controlled ride is another Tiguan strength, as is the vast amount of passenger and cargo space. There's so much room, in fact, that the Tiguan is one of the few compact SUVs with an optional third row of seating. The interior, the cabin of the VW Tiguan is refined and elegant. You and your passengers will have plenty of space to spread out in the roomy seats. A unique feature of the Tiguan is that you can equip it with seating for seven people, even though it's part of the two-row SUV size class. While the seats in the very back may not be spacious enough for a long drive, they're perfect for driving the kids and their friends around town. Higher level trims will be replete with luxury features and appointments. You can get a panoramic sunroof, faux leather seating, heated seating, and more. If you'd like to see how the VW Tiguan stacks up against the competition, then check out our VW Tiguan vs Subaru Forester comparison. The interior of the Tiguan looks sleek. Unfortunately, Volkswagen has also made extensive use of touch-sensitive switches instead of physical buttons. These controls are easy to use when parked, and we appreciate the simulated tactile feedback from the steering wheel controls. But using these switches while driving can also draw your attention away from the road because you still have to look to pinpoint the one you want rather than go by feel as you can with a regular button. Comfortable. With a ride that borders on plush, it's clear Volkswagen made comfort a priority with the Tiguan. Sharp bumps are nicely rounded off, and the highway ride manages to float over imperfections while maintaining very good body control. Even larger potholes are absorbed without much notice. Once underway, the Tiguan boasts a quiet cabin with minimal engine, road and wind noise even at elevated speeds. The engine does sound somewhat crude when pulling away from a stop, but it blends into the background quickly. The climate system's touch-sensitive controls aren't our favorite but the system otherwise provides good air coverage and adjustability. Front seat comfort is okay, but we wish they offered a bit more support, especially in the bottom cushions and better breathability. The outboard second row seats offer welcome skull, ting and bolstering, but the third row seats are barely functional for anyone but small children. Technology. The 2023 Tiguan starts things off at the S-Base model, which gets automatic LED headlights, LED taillights, keyless entry, and heated front seats. It also gets an 8.0 inches digital gauge cluster display, 6.5 inches infotainment touchscreen, and six speakers. The 2023 Tiguan C adds standard remote start, an eight-way powered driver's seat, and power liftgate. Its central touchscreen increases in size to 8.0 inches, wireless phone charging is added. An app connect goes from wired to wireless, which is responsible for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. With the top of the line cell R line, you get standard power folding side mirrors with puddle lights, a light bar in the front grille, and upgrade to a hands-free power liftgate. Inside, a heated steering wheel and ventilated front seats are also standard. Engine. The 2023 Tiguan is powered by a 2.0-liter turbocharged inline-4 that makes 184 horsepower and 221 pounds FT of torque. Expect both front and all-wheel drive powertrains to use the same 8-speed automatics from 2022 as well. In a first test of a 2022 Tiguan CR Line Black FWD, the VW sprinted to 60 miles per hour from a standstill in 8.1 seconds, the same time as the 2022 Subaru Forester Wilderness that employs a larger, but naturally aspirated flat 4 engine and odd. Fuel Economy The front-wheel drive Tiguan's EPA-estimated fuel economy of 26 mpg combined is unremarkable. In fact, that's very similar to the Kia Sorento, and that SUV has an extra 100 horsepower. But on Edmund's real-world evaluation route, our test Tiguan returned an excellent 30 mpg, 
and did so using only the required 87 octane gasoline. Storage, Tiguan's equipped with three rows of seats get 12 cubic feet behind the last row, which is on par for what you get from other compact three-row SUVs. Folding the third row seats results in 33 cubes, and doing the same to the second row seats maxes out the three-row Tiguan to 65.3 cubic feet. If cargo capacity is more important than passenger count, note that the two-row Tiguan offers 37.6 cubes and a more generous 73.4 cubes when all the seats are down. Those numbers are similar to those of other compact two-row SUVs like the RAV4 and CRV. Inside, the Tiguan treats its front occupants with fully lined door pockets and center console, so things don't rattle around as much. The cup holders work well to hold a variety of bottle sizes. There's even a handy tray on top of the dash for sunglasses. Towing is not the Tiguan's strong suit and it is rated for only 1,500 pounds once a hitch has been installed by the dealer. By contrast, the Kia Sorento can pull up to 3,500 pounds. Safety The Tiguan Allspace comes with some great safety features, like adaptive cruise control, AEB with pedestrian detection, rear cross-traffic alert, lane-keeping aids and blind spot monitoring system, as well as a thing called maneuver braking that is designed to stop you from reversing or driving into objects at low speed. I quite like the parking assist feature where it will park itself. It also comes with seven airbags including curtain airbags covering the third row, which is good, and better than some big-name rivals like the Hyundai Santa Fe and Kia Sorento, among others. The Tiguan has a maximum 5-star ANCAP safety rating but the testing was done ages ago, in 2016. There are ISOFIX mounts on the outboard seats plus three top tether child seat mounts but it's fairly narrow, and depending on your child seats, you might struggle to fit three in side by side. However, it was pretty easy fitting my harness booster and a rearward-facing seat plus, there's good room for front passengers when a 0-4 rearward-facing seat is fitted which is excellent. Is it a good value? If you're willing to pay for the extra versatility a third row of seating provides, the Tiguan can represent a fairly good bargain in the compact SUV segment. The materials and features don't always match what some rivals offer, but the Tiguan's overall look and style are premium and modern. Volkswagen offers fairly standard warranties of four years divided by 50,000 miles for both bumper-to-bumper -bumper and powertrain coverage. Roadside assistance is included for three years divided by 36,000 miles, and free scheduled maintenance is a generous two years divided by 20,000 miles. In the end don't forget to like the video and make sure to join us in our channel and see next video dude.